Hi everyone, welcome to Will Call, Theater and Film Talk, where today's topic is underrated films. Now, for every blockbuster and award-winning film, there are triple the amount of movies that are box office flops, critically unacclaimed, and some that are just plain sloppy. But among those, there are some gems, some diamonds in the rough, and here are a couple that are on my list. Now, the first on my list also happens to be the most recent. This is Book Smart. It's Olivia Wilde's directorial debut. With a phenomenal cast, you have Caitlin Deaver, Beanie Feldstein, Jason Sudeikis, Lisa Kudrow, Billy Lord, uh, Will Forte, and it's about two high school students who are straight-A students who decide they want to break all the rules in the book and go to all the parties the night before they graduate high school. And I love this movie because it is one of the best soundtracks that I have ever heard in my life. And you don't realize and recognize the, the, the role that the music is playing in the storytelling until you've seen it a couple times and you realize, wow, this music is literally telling this entire story. And this cast is hilarious. Not the story, not the script, the cast is funny. These are, you know you're watching real friends on screen just playing and, and just being goofy and enjoying the themselves. It, and that is so fun to watch. And the post-production is really what makes this movie. The editing and the like overall aesthetic is just so visually captivating. I say that it's like the story of Perks of Being a Wallflower with like elements of Wes Anderson and like classic Billy Lord in a blender. This is what this movie is. Uh, and the story is so 2019, both on and off screen, representation and diversity all around. So love, love, love Booksmart. And the second on my list is Boulevard. Now this was Robin Williams' last on screen performance. And the movie's about a 60 year old man who is forced to confront his sexual identity when he hires a male hooker for companionship as opposed to sex. And I love this movie because I think this is Robin at his finest. I think he delivers a nuanced, layered, uber powerful performance. And, and he's able to convey these raw feelings, this real loneliness, especially in hindsight, knowing that he was going through what he was going through during the filming of this movie. It, it just, I, there are no words for that type of loneliness that he's able to convey. And I read that some of the moments that I thought are what made his performance so nuanced were actually just improv. And I think that is Robin really at his finest improv -ing. And this movie is extremely hard to watch. Um, but I think that art or movies that are hard to watch and hard to confront usually means that we need to. And my final movie is Behind the Candle Abra. This is Steven Soderbergh's 2013 film with another all-star cast, Matt Damon, Michael Douglas, Rob Lowe, cameos with Debbie Reynolds and Dan Aykroyd. And this movie documents the very real um, true story about Liberace's last 10 years and his love affair with Scott Thorson. Now this is a really interesting story because Liberace never came out as gay because of the time period that he lived in and he knew the consequences that would come with it if he came out. And it is exactly this internal push and pull that um, Liberace was going through that Michael so beautifully conveys that makes this movie, the heart of this movie, so good and, and so interesting to watch and follow. Um, and it's classified as a comedy and I think the comedy comes from the realness of, of the situation, the level of seriousness of the absurdity of these two men's lives as they, as you see the 10 years of their love life and their relationship, the absurdity is what makes it so funny. And very big props to Michael and Rob who completely transform in their character. Um, these are performances worthy of intense character studies. And I, and I have to say, especially Michael, because he has this dichotomy of playing Liberace when he's on stage and he is this picture-perfect crowd-pleaser 
whom everyone loved. And then on the opposite side of that dichotomy, this really gritty, weirdness, kooky, quirky, questionably manipulative, but rooted in a sense of, of honesty, that side of that economy that he, that he went through with Scott. And I have to give major kudos to the production team of this movie. I mean, the ability to recreate Liberace's mansion and all of the extravagance that comes with it, really phenomenal. And, and the costumes, especially the really huge extravagant ones. I mean, this is, Liberace was the Elton John before Elton John. So to be able to recreate all those costumes, literally feather for feather and diamond by diamond, phenomenal job. And same thing with the makeup and hair team. They played such an intricate role in the storytelling and the arc of Liberace's life and Scott's life that I give the entire design team such major kudos. Well, those are some of my favorite underrated movies that I highly recommend. Please watch them and remember to share this video with your movie loving friends and family. Follow us on Instagram and subscribe.